I'm not a poet. I'm just saying that right now. Uh, yes, you are. Whatever. Whatever. We don't believe you. <laughs> My eyes are green. Because I eat a lot of vegetables. They don't have nothing to do with your good health. My eyes are green, cause I eat a lot of vegetables. They ain't got nothing to do with your good health. See, I don't care, I swear, you're a liar and you're gone. You don't mean nothing to keep. So go ahead and keep your good health. My eyes are green. Cause I eat a lot of vegetables. It don't have nothing to do with your good health. You never miss your health until it's gone. Until the mortality pimp backhands you in a oops on your own design and says, guess what, stupid? You ain't immortal. You won't live forever. And you just made your last years far more complicated. Because I mean, I read it in all the statistics. Black, gay, and bisexual men are overrepresented in infections and death rates when it comes to AIDS, says the CDC. I marched. I went to community-based group events around not getting infected. And yet I got infected. Oh yeah, and I got infected like one year before PrEP arrived. Ain't that a bitch? Because of trust, because of love, because I know the grapevine says, he ain't got it. <laughs> Even though I knew he was hoeing. Even though we used together. Even though I knew better. So I trusted him. I saw the good in him. Mm-hmm. And I fell victim to the scourge. Another statistic. Another worthless black man who will be in someone's government report somewhere. And somewhere, someone else who is black, who is not infected but gay like me, will think like I used to think. Thank God that's not me. Never cognizant of the fact that the only thing that separates us is an easily made bad choice. Let me let you know, HIV sucks. Okay, so I'm not wasting away like some Barundi person in some crappy hospital in Bujumbura who has no access to medication covered in lesions and oils at Papa News, wishing for death to come like a lover and ease my suffering in some quiet, unobserved delirium. But it fucks with me, with my T cells. Even if you get the medication they start to rise, your healthiness is trickery. It fucks with your mind around questions like, will they love me or reject me? Will he love me or reject me? Will they love me but do some ill shit like when holiday dinners come around I get to eat off a paper plate while everyone else dines on China because I might give AIDS to somebody? Because it's the questions, dog. The questions. Love those goddamn questions. Every doctor's visit requires blood. And blood only flows with needles. And I hate needles. But we need an accurate count of your viral level and your T cells to give us some blood. Or you need this shot because remember, this healthiness is an illusion. You really don't want the flu, do you? And constantly having me to be reminded that this is all on me. You know you should have never let him hit it without a condom. Well, let me tell you, nothing reminds like pain or the pill I take to stay alive every day. The orange horse pill that maintains this mirage that I am just as healthy as all of you. <laughs> it keeps me undetectable. That holds back the scourge that has taken my blood, that has changed my game. And I hate and love that pill. Because I love it for the obvious reason that I hate it because it reminds me that I am positive. And what I lost, which was my freedom. Freedom from feeling like this is all my fault. From feeling in my spirit at things like this.
from having to do motherfucking science lessons all the time with people I barely know but want to get to know on a date or at a family gathering. Trust me, everyone was, does not know what undetectable is or having to stay silent when I hear people speaking on shit they don't know. But knowing if I speak up because of ignorance, I could be a target. Which all comes back to my choices, which I made high with a man who I knew was no good when I let him hit it without protection. So I'm just giving you a peek into my mind. I'm not a bad person. I'm just like all of you. Okay? <laughs> and my God tells me, at my heart, I really am good. And I just need to let folks see inside of me to hear me, to know that I was just unlucky. Because that's really what this is. We're just unlucky. Six folks, sick folks are just unlucky. And that unluckiness could befall any of you. So in short, Protect yourself. Use your condoms or your prep or abstinence. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever you need to keep your health. Cause it's yours until it's not. Yeah. And take it from me. You never miss your health until it's gone. And all you have left to front is an illusion. <laughs>